Alright guys, um, I'm back. Yes, I took the day off today. But, I'm here with Nanda. We feel in the dressmaker secrets by Lauren Lorena Cook. Um, last time I left the office was when talking about Coco Chanel and, and Adela. Adela lie. Um, at, during the war in 1941, talking about, um, Chanel and Adela, I would, at the way, I forgot how to say her name. Um, they had to move to one part of Paris to another and stay there because the Germans were coming in and already start up to fight Paris already and somehow they got involved with the Nazis yeah, with Nancy, with the secrets and about what's going on and what's in the Jewish, but at that time they weren't talking about the Jewish, but later on, yeah, they will be. Um, with that life, hello, we at the life at the line for God to help her, her name, pronounce her name. Um, they she saw a paper for donating blood. But I guess it's only certain days when they ask for blood. But today's today's date is you can donate anytime when the doors are open. Just please come in and donate. But with it, Lord, we, she didn't realize it was day before. She didn't know the paper was dated yesterday. So she went down. Ask, can I donate blood? And the secretary, nurse at the desk said, you were looking at the old paper. It was yesterday we asked and people come down. She didn't realize that, but the nurse went in back and asked the RN over the nurse to say, can she come in and donate blood? I guess it was okay. So she, uh, she had the line dead, and so she did. And, 
and later on that day, she met a couple people and especially Coco Chanel for chit chat and Ch Chanel asked told ask her sister at the what ate the law how about on the core change. How about start up perfume? She think think about it. Are you say are you sure? Yeah. So she started it with Chanel but now, in 21st century, it's big, but finish the topic of those two. Um, let's go back to, back to the war to the 1940s and present day. But it's, yeah, it's talking about with their grandkids, Chanel's grandson, and the one granddaughter. After in a twenty eighteen, um, Chloe got a what message from Henry, say, let's meet up, let's meet up. So they did meet up and discuss the. But what you've been up to since college? Last time if they not saw each other was in college. That was probably fif ten, fifteen years, I guess, in catching up, saying. What do you do now? So she told Henry what she's doing. I'm over here to honor my grandmother and do some research and bring some, try to get some historical things for my grandmother's 97 years and we remember from 1940s but she couldn't get what she wanted that doctor because she, it was overpriced and yeah the beds were over Limit, but but with that evil then I cannot pronounce his name at either one so I guess at the one But he was doing research on his grandmother also. But when they met a doctor, 
they get some in. She gives some information about her grandmother also. And also for Coco Chanel. But funny thing, after they finish eating at this fancy hotel, best hotel restaurant, they went to a museum, painting museum, and sculptures too. And Chloe dropped her mouth because such such statues were all people with a nudity. Francis is one of place you can show nudity in museums. And they don't get in trouble. And with Koi, she had one too many, but at the end, she said, I'm going to go because what of new today here. Same time, Henry, me. I'm saying that. I know it's wrong, but. But Henry met him through a friend, a friend, a friend. So Henry did her. She, she met uh, this person. Uh, not too long ago, but he not realize it's him. But anyways, yeah, and after Henry left, this guy gave Chloe some more information. But any time they get together, he's worried about getting get caught. Any time their maintenance is short, it's anyways. Big something, something, so the third time when they met, and we mean Chloe and this guy meets up, he gave her a book, the information about. What they doing? So, and somehow, it it then well, they don't know book and read e written in English and give it to Chloe. Chloe start reading it and. And wait some more next day, and they and Chloe and Henry were done to talk to each other more about this person and and their family. So Henry went to and. Henry and Chloe went to this factory 
this business, but it's a factory where Chanel started with Chanel Pipe. So, yeah, she really where the perfume started from. And so, Henry give story to the staff about Chloe. So, in her past history of Chanel. So, I go and stop there and give you and give you more heads up. But I'm in the we catch up on. I'm this is my second book. First one I Diana, but sick this one's good. I'm like twenty seven percent in. I like so far so anyways I'm going go and see you guys later and happy with